Allie Borealis here. Welcome to my channel and thanks for subscribing. I picked up two broken jewelry crafts bags while I was in Miami. I'm a healthcare worker and I was there for about four months working at a hospital. So I popped around to a lot of the different thrift stores. I'm gonna do some more Miami videos in my thrifting from coast to coast series. So I'm sharing these two crafts bags I got from the bargain box and let's see if I made money on them. The great thing about this place is they let me look through the bags before I purchase them to see if I want Wanted them. Each bag was five bucks. I've already sorted through these, but I'll, I'll share it with you. Like this is just a bag of uh, bag of beads, round beads, silver plate, new. We have a broken brooch that is an Anne Klein heart brooch. I'm not going to repair that. That's going to be a crafts. Like this, you know, this is all crafts basically. All of it is uh, broken or not really wearable. This is wearable, but it has such a tiny little clasp. Um, it does feel like natural stone. And what else do we have? That is a sliver of a shell. Oh, this is also natural stone, but it's also broken. That looks like sodalite. This is broken. You know, it's all broken. It's all craftsy. All this stuff is mostly craftsy. And I'll show you real quick what is not, like what I'm like, okay. I would have to test these. Sometimes these these have a gold surround. Like this looks like it might have a gold surround more than this more than this one. I don't see some of some of these are Swarovski, but I don't see the little tag that's gonna tell me that that's Swarovski, and even those aren't gold but sometimes every now and again they make these in gold um more broken we have that bag of beads right there lots of beads and things to play with here single earring right there over a little bit. Nothing special, right? This is mostly craftsy stuff. But what I did pull out of there is what I wanted to show you. This is an Irwin Pearl. It's a single earring. And again, like I said, I usually will save up when I have branded um, vintage earrings. I'll, I'll do a lot of branded single vintage earrings. So we'll put that in that pile. Now this I thought was really neat. This is a, a Ben Amun, which actually sells well. And I think this style and design will sell well as well. The only thing it's missing is, is the pin on the back, the brooch pin. So I'm probably gonna send that off to get repaired. You can see it says Ben Amun on the back there. And uh, these sell well online. So if all I need to do is pop a pin on the back that you're not even gonna see, I'll do that. And uh, then re I'll resell that. I'll post that and resell that. So that was that bag. So I contacted Benamun because they're still in business. And that's the great thing about companies that are still in business. You can reach out to them and see if you can get a repair done from the company. So you know it's going to be a good repair that matches what was originally there. And I love doing that. If you watched my Gucci video, I talk about how I sent my Gucci watch off from high school and got like a complete repair. It was like I had gotten a new watch all over again. Okay, this was a bigger bag than the other one. Both of these bags, they were each $5. And again, we have some interesting little just craftsy stuff in here. You know, nothing special. This was kind of interesting. I don't think it's silver, but it's definitely a heavier metal. Uh, more craftsy is what I'm seeing in here. This is a vintage brooch, but it's look, it's seen better days. It just really has seen better days. What else do we have? That's pretty, but that's busted. And sometimes these clasps are gold, but this is not gold. Um, so all of this is, is just really craftsy kind of stuff that's broken, that's in this bag single earrings, you know the drill, pretty single vintage earring, little pendants, little apple pendant, none of this is, oh, that's, an, that's funny, that's like an eaten apple, 
right? I don't know why you would give somebody an eaten apple pendant, but okay. Uh, nothing special, just lots of crafts. And then we had more in this bag. I only purchased two bags. This third bag is stuff I pulled out of the first two bags because I want it to look at again. I don't know if that's ivory or not. I'd really have to look at that. You're not supposed to sell that, so I'm not really even sure if it's a maybe why it's in there. So when I looked at this a little more closely, what they say about ivory is when you look at it under a magnifying glass or magnification, it has cross hatching. And I don't see any cross hatching. I see some straight lines, which I believe is bone. Uh, so I, it would be safe to say this is probably not ivory. This is more crafts. I think that's super pretty. That shiny little faceted. These I'm, I might test. I think I have both pair of those. I do have a... Oh, these were like interesting things. That's why I put them to the side. I do have a pair of these. I'm not sure why they put them in the crafts. They have backs and everything. Uh, posts, I mean, not backs. But there they are. Uh, this is, was in the bag too, and there's nothing wrong with this necklace. It's uh, not branded, but it it's just a fine necklace, chunky gold necklace. Uh, lots of pearls in here. Now this, you might be asking, what the heck is that, right? Spring loaded, what do you do with that? This is a vintage glove clip. So you just put your little gloves on there if you're not wearing them. And then I guess you just attach that to maybe something you are wearing, like your bracelet or something. I'm not really clear what that what what that goes on to, but it's a glove clip. I'll resell that one. Uh, this is uh, crafts. It doesn't have a brand and it doesn't have a attachment on the back. That's some cloisonne, single earrings. We have a cute little cameo. I'm I'm getting together. I mean, this is like a modern day kind of faux cameo, but I'm getting together a little lot of cameos that I'm going to sell together. This is a wheelbarrow. I don't know why we have this in here, but we have a little bitty, little bitty wheelbarrow in there. Uh, we have some peacock pearls that looks like it might have been a little project for someone. Very nice. This is also a little clip. Sometimes I think that might be sterling, actually. No, no, it just says patent pending. It doesn't say sterling. It doesn't mean it's not sterling, but it just says patent pending. And a uh, single earring. Let's see what, oh, right. This, again, you gotta look at the backs of these posts. Because when I look at the back of that post, you might just think, oh, that's another stud that they threw in a junk that they threw in a junk pile of jewelry, crafting jewelry. But the post, you can see it's pink. The post is actually stamped 14K. So that is a pink. I can test it to see if it's uh, a natural stone or if it's glass or something. But um, yeah, got a little bitty stud. And studs sell, like single single studs that are um, gold, they sell. So we're gonna, that's a keeper. And the, 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 do I have something in my sleeve? That's poking me. Oh, I do have something in my sleeve. Okay, the piece de resistance of the bag is this beauty that needs repair. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pull it all the way out because it's broken. Uh, you can see it's got some of the green vertigris stuff that I don't like here happening and then one of these little bitty bead strands is broken but 
It is Miriam Haskell, and these sell online for over $200. So I'm gonna send this one off to get repaired. And we'll see what the necklace, necklace looks like when it comes back. So I got a repair quote on this necklace and given the amount of work that needed to be done on it, the quote was $630, which just doesn't make sense for me as a reseller. I wouldn't be able to make a profit on it. So I listed it auction style on eBay as a broken Miriam Haskell sold as is with an opening bid of $15. Figuring if I only got 15, it would cover the cost of both bags. And when the auction closed, I sold it for $51, which more than covered the cost of these two bags. And I still have the Benamun to repair and sell, and I still have the 14K stud. I did test some things that I thought might be gold or sterling, and this was the only thing that came back as a precious metal besides the 14K stud that I got. It was this pair of earrings that tested as sterling. Do you all think it was worth it? Let me know in the comments what you found in Broken Jewelry Crafts bags. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. It's free. <laughs>